Well, at Aquarine Power, uh, we have very, very strong shareholders, and they've been extremely supportive. But what we need to do at the moment is expand our shareholder base. So in order to take the device from where it is now to being commercial, we need to raise over the next four years approximately uh, 50 million pounds sterling. So we're out in the market uh, looking at raising that in a number of tranches. In the current tranche, we hope to raise about 15 uh, million pounds sterling. I think that most investors make investments in order to make money. I think the clean sector is an important sector at the moment. It hasn't suffered as much in this economic downturn as other sectors. It is quite attractive because people have seen what's happened in other parts of the green uh, industry. For example, wave indus our wind industry has grown dramatically and uh, is now regarded as a mainstream uh, technology. And uh, people are looking to find out what the next mainstream green technology will be, hence it's quite attractive, whether it's wave or solar or something else, green technology, and it is good for the soul as well, I think, for some investors. I don't regard this industry as being very competitive at the moment because nobody has any market share in the marine sector, you know, it's, uh, it's the one thing where we're fellow travelers at this stage in our industry and uh, therefore it doesn't really, it, it would be unfair to say that anybody is leading the industry or that there is major competition at the moment. I think we have a lot to learn from one another and I think that rather than at this stage all be thinking that we are competing over market share, which all of us have zero market share, I think it would be better if we can try and learn from one another. The UK certainly has a lead in terms of what is happening in the marine technology sector. I mean there is uh, half a dozen uh, tidal stream and wave technology companies currently operating in the UK. What I'd like to see is that we ensure that we capture and get the economic benefit from this lead that we currently have. What we've seen time and time again, the UK is extremely good at developing technologies, but once that technology is developed, it's exploited elsewhere in the world. I don't want to see that happen. I think what we're doing in the clean tech sector should lead to industry and jobs for people in this country. I mean, what I want to do by being here is to learn what's going on. I don't want to be reinventing the wheel all the time. So there's a lot of things happening at the conference in the various chair sessions, whether they're covering technology or the markets or government and funding. And uh, I just want to discover what other people are finding in the marketplace. And it's also an opportunity to meet some potential investors and also some potential customers for our technology.